Hi, I'm Leslie Anderson. And I'm Ann Cusack. We're therapists at the UCSD Eating Disorder Center, and um, we are back today with a new skill to help you get through um, this whole coronavirus global pandemic as effectively and skillfully as possible. And as usual, these skills are coming from the DBT Skills Manual, which hopefully you have access to that at your house, but we'll be going through it in lots of detail. Today, we're going to start by talking about the DBT skill of self-soothe. Um, I truly can't sing the praises of the skill enough. I think especially during times of high stress or any kind of emotional dysregulation. And I think sort of collectively as a country and as a world, we are definitely going through one of them right now. We need all the self-soothing we can get. Yes. And all the healthcare workers, first responders, please. I hope you guys are all self-soothing a ton as well. Um, so self-soothe is kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's really utilizing all five of your senses and those mindfulness skills to really fully participate with the things that are in the environment and the things that are around you that help you feel um, more relaxed and more at ease. So doing things that might smell really good or listening to music that might be really relaxing. And we'll go through each step um, one by one. And I think a lot of people feel uncomfortable with the idea of soothing themselves. They feel like, well, I need to be doing something productive. Um, I don't have time for this. And the thing is that right now, a lot of us have more free time than we had bargained for because we're not allowed to do so many of the things that we've traditionally been allowed to do. And, you know, being at your house, maybe totally socially isolated, this is an ideal time to be spoiling yourself a little bit, taking care of yourself, and above all, soothing those crazy emotions that are probably coming up for you. And all of us who feel like we have to be productive with every minute of free time, um, we all know and research indicates that trying to be productive all the time isn't actually productive at all because it's going to take longer for you to get those things done. So it's actually in your best interest to do some self-soothing and give yourself this time so that you can actually be more productive when you're putting your mind to it. Think of this as a prescription from your doctor to be soothing yourself. Yes, exactly. So the first part of self-soothe is self-soothing with vision. Um, and this can be really with anything that helps sort of like bring you calm. So if you're someone who has um, like art in your house or your home that you think is really beautiful, um, just really taking some time to appreciate that and look at that. Um, if you have a view out of your window or if you have somewhere where you can walk in a socially distanced and potentially masked sort of way and see something in nature that is really soothing and isolated, that would also be totally appropriate. It can also be vision with things that are in your house. So um, this is something that we do a lot of times um, in program. We'll make things like glitter jars. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to hold it a little closer to the camera. So cool. It's so cool. And if just like watching this, um, it's actually remarkably soothing. It's sort of like an adult kaleidoscope is kind of how I think about it. I could look at that all day. Yeah, and I could absolutely also look at it all day. So even something like this, self-soothing with vision, can just be really relaxing. It's just about bringing your mind back to looking at this and letting yourself take it in with your sense of vision. So the next uh, sense that you can use to self-soothe is hearing. And there's all sorts of different ways that you can use hearing to soothe yourself. And like all the skills, this one has to be something that you would actually find soothing. So, you know, we all have our own taste in music. We all have what we would consider soothing to listen to. Some of our teens in our clinic um, say that they use heavy metal music for self-soothing, which would not be my choice. Definitely um, not. But you can use a type of music that you find soothing, or you can use a sound from nature, which is a little harder to come by these days since we're all stuck in our house. Um, but there's lots of apps with nature sounds. Are you going to play one for us? I am. Rain. Yeah, it's rain. <laughs> Just a little bit of a rain downpour. <laughs> you know, we're in San Diego right now, and in addition to the pandemic, it's been pouring down rain in an apocalyptic fashion for several weeks. So I don't know that that would be my self soothe mm -hmm. um, app noise of choice. Yeah. But in general, I do like the sound of rain. Um, and, you know, you can also listen to podcasts. You can um, take this time to play an instrument. Maybe that's something you used to do in the past, or you could even try and teach it to yourself while you're uh, sitting at home amidst the global craziness. Um, the next one is self-soothing with smell. Um, I know that I've seen a lot of my friends and family who are home um, over Zoom doing a lot of like baking and cooking. And so taking any kind of time to appreciate those smells, those aromas that might be filling your house in ways that haven't been, you know, 
that have been more absent when you've been at work. Um, and so really just letting yourself enjoy smells like that. If any of you are coffee drinkers, really letting yourself take in the aroma of your coffee first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes I'm like so busy getting ready that I kind of like drink my coffee super quickly and don't really appreciate the smell. Um, but when I have the time and let myself, it's remarkably self-soothing to just like really go ahead and smell that in. Um, even things like essential oils or, you know, all of us are probably using a lot more hand sanitizer than normal. And so even the smell of something like lavender organic hand sanitizer is super, super self-soothing. So I'm going to spray some of this on you and you get to smell it. And be and sanitized at the same time. This is You're a welcome. Gift it's deal. a gift. So now I'm soothed because I'm protected against coronavirus, all the germs, all the things, mm -hmm. and it smells like lavender. Oh my gosh. Right? Amazing. Exactly. So definitely um, anything that smells good, anything that brings you that sense of calm um, fills you up. If you're someone who really likes new car smell, um, even doing something like cleaning your car and then like letting yourself go for a drive and sort of take in that aroma can be really soothing as well. So the next uh, sense on here that we're using for self-soothe is the sense of taste. And, you know, we're making these videos for people with eating disorders. So obviously we know that um, this one can be a little bit of a mixed bag for people with eating disorders. It's like on the one hand, you might find taste self-soothing, but it might be something that you've overused in the past um, if you've someone who's ever had binging as part of your eating disorder. Um, but regardless of your eating disorder presentation, I think that there's ways that you can use taste to self-soothe. Um, a lot of our clients really like chewing gum and being mindful of the taste of it while they're chewing or um, eating mints, that kind of thing. Um, but basically, this one is all about eating mindfully. So whatever it is that you're eating, be mindfully totally in the experience with that food, if that's something that you find enjoyable, as opposed to eating it quickly without paying attention to it. Um, and, uh, and just really taste the food that you're eating and really enjoy the food that you're eating. So that's kind of the self-soothe with tasting. The last one on the list is self-soothing with touch. And um, this is... This is one that I think really lends itself to being stuck at home in the pandemic. And there's lots of different ideas on here. So taking a long, hot bath or shower, um, petting your dog or cat. If you have a pet, this is a great time to spoil them and really enjoy, you know, what it feels like to cuddle with your pet and pet your pet. I feel like my dog has never gotten more baths because she feels like velvet when she's clean. Yes. So I'm really just cleaning her to self-soothe myself. I mean, again, goes well with the pandemic. Clean mm -hmm. dogs are softer. And also on this list is clean sheets, which mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about clean sheets. It's but the best. The way Always. they feel, the mm -hmm. way they smell. I love it. So um, I'm definitely uh, going to advocate for washing your sheets more often <laughs> during this pandemic. <laughs> And also, like, just in general, like, wash your sheets. Right. It's good practice. <laughs> but for self-soothe, particularly, it just, it works wonders, really. Yeah. Um, wrapping yourself in a really soft blanket. Um, just, you know, really taking care of yourself during this time. One of the ones on here is have a massage, which luckily I don't even like massages during um, non-pandemics. But you definitely can't get a massage right now. One thing that you can do, perhaps, is a, a handy-dandy little um, <laughs> head massager. This is my kind of massage. I don't know it's why. I, much, I also have one of those this. in my room. Yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend the little uh, head massager. What are they called? I think they're the head massager. It's a, it's a head massager. Yeah, yes, so. highly recommend the head massager. Um, so those are kind of uh, the self-soothe skills. Um, <laughs> are you laughing at my head massager? Yes, I am. <laughs> Um, I hope that you've gotten some uh, some good ideas from this list, and um, there's plenty more out there that we haven't talked about or mentioned, so get creative with this. And, um, and remember, this is literally like a prescription to do self-soothe. It will definitely make the world go around much more smoothly if we're all doing as much self-soothing as we can um, during this time. Yep, absolutely. We will be back with more skills soon.